Ricky, there's no other place to start. Well, the first place to start is what a win. Yeah, great. What win. a fantastic win. I mean, we always talk about predicting these type of games and thinking, oh, you just never know. Tough, tough run of games. Mm. We've got draw against Everton, okay, mm, I'm in an R in, but to come here to home against these lot and win, fantastic. But in terms of analysis, yeah. we've got to start at your man, Matic. I, I, I thought he was brilliant. Um, and I've been one of the first to say, look, I've been his biggest critic over the, over the last 18 months, mm. since December time, since he's come back in the team, he's been superb. Another good performance from him today again. Yeah, he's, um, do, we, do we stop or can No, I keep going, it's all right. Oh, okay. Is that <laughs> right? all right? Is that all right? Oh, fine, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I've had a couple of people on Twitter saying to me that he was uh, not playing well earlier in the season. Absolutely bang out of order. He wasn't playing enough. He played against Leicester here. We won 1-0. Leicester were flying. It was a great win. I know Leicester are not quite Man City, but they were flying at the start of the season. He played in the 1-0 win here and, had, and clean sheets were hard to come by. And then when we played West Ham away, and I've had people on Twitter saying to me that he was shocking at West Ham away. I did a thread on him ages ago about that West Ham away. He was our best player, and there'll be loads of people coming on saying, no, he wasn't, you're imagining it. I'm not. He was absolutely our best player against West Ham. Now then, it, it, I don't know why the coaching staff don't see this. He was bombed out after West yeah, Ham. Didn't see him and there'll be that. people coming on saying, uh, Noble ran the show. No, he didn't. Noble passed the ball. He was five yards outside the box. Maybe Matic could have closed him. But Noble passed a square ball that went to a player who was 10 yards outside the box with about eight United or six United defenders between him and the goal. That type of pass happens 10 times, 20 times in a match and doesn't result in a goal. It's not Matic's fault that it resulted in a goal. He plays it into the box and they happen to score. Everybody's on Matic's case. It's not Matic's fault. He, he, he faced Noble up, Noble squared it and Noble plays it into the, uh, sorry, his teammate plays it into the box. It was not Matic's fault, that goal. And everyone was on Matic's case about that. Mm. That day, Matic was our best player. He's playing now exactly like he was playing then. So for you, it's And it's like, driving yeah. me mad. Mm. That's it's, the frustration for you, the fact that you're saying actually... I was telling you then. <laughs> I was telling you then, he's got to play. Mm. And look, mm. talking about what he does do well today, mm. uh, he, he was calm on the ball. I thought he used the ball very well, mm. won the ball back where he could very well. Mm. Um, but away from him, I mean, look, we had to we had to dig in today. We had to dig in today. We're not oh, going to dominate yeah. the ball yeah, against a team like today. Yeah, let's get back. Let's get Took me down memory lane there, Rick. I'm like, let's West Ham, when was that again? Yeah, but yeah. no, I know what you're saying. Yeah, but but people, we had to dig yeah, in but today. But everybody's saying he's playing better now. He's not playing better now. He's playing exactly like he was playing before. Now then, today, his tactics, I wasn't surprised. But I, was a, I just thought he might go a little bit braver. But then when you watch the game and the way we, had, we, we were absolutely dominated, we could hardly get a kick of the ball no, in the yeah. second half. Uh, somebody in, in the suite just said to me, City wouldn't have scored if they played all night. Yeah, it like I'm not sure scored. about that. <laughs> they, were, they were getting balls in between the full-back and the centre-back time well, we and time We were trying to again. tie in the end. Yes, yeah. That goal came so right I, I don't think it would have took too much longer for them to get a goal if there had been another 10 minutes or mm. something. But we, the resolute but, defending but the, was, was fantastic across all of them. All of them. Superb. Absolutely superb. Absolutely superb. Luke Shaw was fantastic yeah. again. Um, Harry Maguire, fantastic Brilliant. in there. He's passing, le he's passing yeah. less a little bit to be desires. Yeah. Another thing that's happening on Twitter, people telling me that he's a better passer of the ball than Chris Smalling. I don't see it. Mm. And I'm not knocking him. Mm. He's a solid, solid defender. He's winning every tackle. He's winning every header. But his passing lets him down. Mm. His passing lets him down. Two or three long balls that have gone into touch and yeah. all that. Lindelof um, next to him was solid. Yeah, Lindelof was, was solid. solid. Oh, every, everybody. To a man, uh, Brandon Williams. Uh, I want to mention Dan James. Yes. Another thing that I'm seeing, people on Dan James's case. I also see people saying Greenwood should start in front of Dan James. They're absolutely dreaming. Greenwood, Greenwood, when he plays against the big sides, he struggled at Everton. He even struggled in the first half here against Watford. He got took off it at half time last time we played City. Dan James comes on for him. Dan James is quicker, stronger. He, and when you're playing against teams like that, you need a player that can get hold of the ball and win you a couple of free kicks. Do you know what I mean? Greenwood just can't get on the ball. Mm. And Dan James. Is Dan James, is Dan James Dan, more suited to how we play now then? Is that what you're saying? He's more suited. It's just more suited against good sides. Again, against poorer sides, we, we, we might, we'll struggle again to break down poorer sides. It will happen. Against poorer sides, it's a little bit different. But against good sides, Dan James is a vital ingredient. 
a, a workhorse, never stops running. And, and, and when I say picks the right option, there'll be people coming on saying he should have squared it to Bruno. Mm. Nobody picks the right option every time. Mm. When he gets that ball, he's not thinking to himself every time that he's got to do something. If he receives it with his back to goal, he lays it off and he mm. goes again. He's, he's a decent player and he needs to be playing regular mm. in games like this, which he has played in games he's like this. He's played in all the big games, yeah. I, yeah, I, yeah. I mean, my frustration, I have to be honest, is is that end product for me I just I, not, not not today can't knock him today I thought today mm. he was spot on in he, terms he of a, he had a shot and, when he should have passed it once uh, do you know what I mean and then yeah, that yeah. shot that Bruno laid him in for he's well, got Bruno to go across had a goal. shot when he should have passed it yeah, as well it happens you know what exactly I mean? it happens I'm not yeah. digging him out for today's yeah, performance because yeah. I thought in a game mm. like today mm. when we're under the cosh we yeah. need that outlet yeah. and I thought he gave us that exactly. time and time again exactly. getting Zinchenko running back so to his own goal so the work rate of Marshall gets not Marshall's work rate is absolutely absolutely fine people say don't work hard enough he's a clever player he was in position all the time. It's, it's about team shape. Yeah. If he wasn't doing his job, A, he'd get hauled off. B, we'd probably get beat. Yeah. You know I mean, he's doing his job. He, he gets himself in between players so that when their keeper's got the ball, he's got a difficult decision to make. You know what I mean? He just gets himself in the right position. And the confidence that this is building now, it's all about yeah. confidence game. You know, we go to Spurs next week, Sunday. Yeah. Yes, we go going out to Austria. Are you going? going to no, Austria? I'm not going to Austria. You're not going? No, not fancy no, it? No, I do fancy it, but I'm not going. <laughs> um, but I'll go out to it's Austria. A bit too, it's a bit too close to Italy, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks for that. Cheers. Yeah, thank you. So you're telling me don't come back and keep myself out of there. <laughs> but um, it's building confidence though isn't it yes oh absolutely 10 games unbeaten now i can't remember if i said it to you last week uh before we played derby i might have said it on twitter i might have said it to you i can't remember but i said at the time i'd love to stretch this unbeaten run to 10 games doesn't sound a yeah. lot but i said at the time um you know we'll still be in the cup and it means we get something out of this and if i'm honest Last week, if you'd have said we're going to beat Derby and then draw with City, I would have took that. Yep. So to beat Derby and beat City, yeah. I'm absolutely over the moon. Who's your man of the match? Um, man, do, do you know what? I've not mentioned Fred. Yeah. Obviously, I do give Fred stick. Yeah. I think we've been here before. I think I said after the Derby at Main Road once, he was absolutely fantastic. And I think I said then, <laughs> I've not seen him play better. I've not seen him play better yeah. than he played today. Although, th this is what... When I talk about quality players who take a touch and pass it, there was a ball passed to him in the right back area, and Wan Bissaka was waiting for it yeah, back. It he, it he, was, he wasn't he wasn't marked. He didn't need to pass it first time. If you watch Matic play, he always takes the right the right decision, takes a touch and rolls it. And Fred tries to pass it first time. It come this high off the ground and yeah. went into touch. Yeah. He needs to he needs to get the right. He needs to get it right. And he'd already been booked as well. And when that happened, and it, with him already having been booked. And when I went to make loads of tackles, yeah. I'd have took him off. Yeah. Even though I thought he was playing fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. I said to me, pal, I was sat with him, he needs to get him off and get mm. McTominay on. But is that a testament to him that he actually managed to keep his head and, he and, his head. and, and put yeah. in good he, performance? He, he played great. Yeah. I'm going to give him man of the match. Wow. Fred man of the match. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Big thank you to you guys for watching the latest of our videos. And if you want to check out more, make sure you do that just to the right of me. We are the biggest and best Manchester United channel in the world. Make sure you check us out on all of the socials as well. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and YouTube. The socials are along the bottom. Peace.